another feature that's going to be very useful for you is to get the CP lambda curve from the CLI. It's a feature that we've developed for this class, so it's not in the current version of Ashes, it's in the version 3.21, which will be released by the time you're watching this video. So, you know, just, just in case you notice that there's a difference in the version between this video and the previous videos. Um, yeah, so the CP lambda curve, so what is that? It's, um, if I open this model now, I mean, I could open any model, but if you come here, you can go to rotor characteristics, compute this, and then, so th this is a curve that's going to tell you about the, the CP, about the power coefficient of your rotor. So you have on the y-axis the CP, power coefficient, or on the x-axis the TSR, tip speed ratio. This is called the CP curve, the CP lambda curve, the CP versus TSR curve. It has like many names, but that's, that's what it is. And it, it tells you at what tip speed ratio you're getting the best, um, the best power coefficient. And obviously this is going to depend on, you know, your blades and yeah, the, the, the diameter of the rotor, things like that. So, so it's, it can be useful to run different, uh, different simulations to get different CP lambda curves. And the way you would do that, again, is, is in the batch, right? So if I come here and I create a new batch, I'm going to keep the default name again. Uh, so you could come here. And then I think it's in analysis, miscellaneous. Yeah, so make rotor characteris characteristics curves. So if I click this now, I have like this, this is the parameter that appeared, right? So I can just say that I want, I want to have the, this rotor characteristic curve. And now I can export this. And so just to be in the right folder, so that's, this is this, this is going to be the name of the CSV. And oh, yep, yeah, sorry. So I had the file open in Excel. So I have to close this first and now come here and again try to save it. Cool. So now I have saved the file and yeah, I guess I'm going to save the model as well because this is the model that, I, that I'm going to use. So new model. Okay, so I have my model and my uh, CSV file. We're just gonna go have a quick look at the file itself. So if I go to the file that I just saved, it's this one here. And yeah, so you can see this is the this is the parameter that we just added. Uh, make rotor characteristics curve set to true. So because this is um, this is something that happened. It's not it's not time series that I'm gonna get out. It's just like a well, this is just the graph that you saw, right? The table with TSR and then uh, the power coefficient and the thrust coefficient. So I don't really need to run a to run a long simulation because it's it's something that's going to happen at the beginning of the simulation. So the the generation of this curve is going to happen at the beginning, and that's right now that's what I'm interested in. So I'm just going to say that I want this to be one second. It it could be 0 0.5. I mean, I I don't really care. I just want to get this curve out. So I save uh, my file now and I'm going to run my MATLAB script again. Okay, so now I'm running this and then this should be super fast because there's no... Yeah, because there's basically no time simulation. This is... right now it's just generating the, the curve, but it's not going to run any time simulation. Cool, and now I have my results, which are now in... Yeah, Ashes 321 because yeah, because I'm using this version as I said. So I can come here, match CLI, and so if I yeah, if I navigate through the folders again, now I have an extra folder that I didn't have before. Before I just had time simulation and then I had like you know my sensors in here, but now I have an extra folder which is called rotor characteristics, and here I have the the information of the, the CP and the CT curves. I didn't yeah I didn't mention the CT curve. The CT is the is the curve is the thrust coefficient curve. Um, so it's the same it's again thrust coefficient against tip speed ratio. This is power coefficient against this tip speed ratio. So yeah so so this is the information that you get. So now you can uh, you know you can check this information and yeah well I guess do do whatever you want. You can optimize your blade based on this, or 
or just to use it as, as, as information. But yeah, so now that's how to get the the tip speed, uh, the CPU lambda curve from the HSCLA.